So question 1a, we just simply need to factorize the top and bottom and then um, simplify the fraction, right? So if you look at this now, the bottom cannot be factorized, but the top can. Uh, to factorize the top, what do we need to do? Well, we simply need to pull out a common factor, the greatest common factor. 2 goes into 4 and 20. Can you think of a bigger number that goes into both 4 and 20? Well, 4 goes into both 4x and 20, right? So 4 times x would be 4x. 4 times what gives negative 20? 4 times negative 5, right? And so we're factorizing the top by pulling out our greatest common factor. And on the bottom we simply have x minus 5 also. So we have the same factor on the top and bottom, x minus 5. Now we just, that, we can cross cancel that because the exact same number, right? And you get 4 times 1 is 4 over 1, which is, so that's just 4. And the reason, oh, damn it. So this is like having, um, you know, 4, if, instead of 4 times that, imagine just having 4 times, let's say, 15 over 15, right? In that case you could cross cancel the 15's and the answer would be 4, right? So that's all we're doing, we're cross cancel that. For example, 2 times x minus 3 over x minus 3, you would cross cancel that because x minus 3 is the same number as x minus 3, right? And the answer would be 2. So that would be kind of like having, imagine if x was 10, 10 minus 3 would be what? 10 minus 3 would be 7. So it would be like having 2 times 7 over 7. <coughs> Again, you just cross-cancel the 7s, the answer is 2, right?